Okay, let's take this uh, 1975, I think it's 1975, Triumph Stag Mark II automatic for a spin. Lovely old thing, this. More lights will come up um, and it starts beautifully. I did 150 miles in this the other day and performed superbly actually. Really enjoyed it. Into D and off we go. Right, what can we tell you about this apart from it's, uh, it's lovely because um, it really is. Showing 95,000 miles and we've got tons of history with it. Absolutely loads of it and it's, um, I wouldn't describe it as concourse but I'd describe it as really, 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 really nice, if that makes any sense. Um, what can we say? So, starts on the button, no misfiring, hesitancy or overheating, it's got a lovely engine on it. Um, starts nicer whether it's hot or cold. Yes, yeah, so you can probably hear that uh, nasty beeping noise. Um, the last owner, I believe, put that on um, because as it's got this rather nice motor litre steering wheel on it, which is slightly smaller than standard, uh, you can't really see the um, the indicator warning lights unless you sort of move your head about. So you put that on so you could always tell um, when the indicators are on. Very irritating, but at least you know the indicators are on. And uh, if you want to take it off, it's, uh, it won't be too difficult. Completely stock standard vehicle, apart from, as I say, the, um, um, the steering wheel. And it also has uh, a radio CD with MP3 player down there as well, MP3 input rather. So yes, lovely motor on it, doesn't get hot, doesn't do anything, it has got an auxiliary fan on it if you need to use that, but um, uh, I didn't have to in my 150 mile trip down the motorway in it the other day. Temperature gauge sat exactly where it is now, just below the halfway mark. Um, oil pressure's sitting nice and healthy there, fuel gauge and voltmeter all working, basically everything's working on the dash, lovely wood on the dash actually, really, really nice. Uh, it's a three-speed auto box, by modern standards, a little bit clunky um, and not particularly flexible, but uh, does the job. Uh, the whole drivetrain feels pretty solid. And if I did notice, if you accelerate really, really hard and then change gear, it just sort of wriggles very slightly at the back end. There was an advisory on the uh, the last MOT to say that the um, uh, a couple of bushes under the, uh, the the tail end were um, sort of getting a little bit worn, not bad enough to uh, to fail its MOT, but just getting slightly worn. So um, could well be that they're those, but uh, you can't really tell in normal use. Just if you really, as I, as I floored it at one point. And uh, it just sort of did it as I floored it uh, right down. So I wanted to check the kick down on it, which was all uh, doing as it should. Trundling on now, sort of uh, about 45 miles an hour. Lovely, a little bit of wind noise from around the hard top. That's normal on these, but um, seems to track pretty straight. Nothing, no problems there at all. I know it brakes nicely. Um, I couldn't really, I found it very, very difficult to fault it the other day when I was driving, as I say, just as I, as I mentioned, if you put your foot hard down and it changes gear, it does just slightly uh, slightly wiggle at the tail end with the um, um, with the bushes that probably would need replaced in a couple of years' time. I just want to be absolutely honest with everybody, but she is an, a really, really, really lovely stag. Clearly been properly looked after. Inside spec in here, it's got the, um, I think they call this uh, this colour mulberry, I think. I'll have to check the, I've got the original heritage certificate for it. Um, it's got the dark carpets as well. Um, it's got, so radio CD, MP3 thing. The only thing, the, I'm not sure if the aerial's working at the back. You can pull it up by hand. It is an electric aerial, but I can't seem to get any um, any connection at all from the uh, from the stereo. It works in uh, in CD mode, but just in radio mode, I can't get anything else of it. Turn it off again. Um, we've got electric windows. They're all working fine. Um, there's not much else really on these. This is a, a luxury car of its time, but I guess by modern standards, not particularly luxurious.
suspension's nice on this over sort of speed bumps and things it doesn't um, make any horrid knocks groans bangs clunks or anything like that and the other thing I've noticed that sort of 50 plus you do very occasionally get a very slight whine from one of the wheel bearings uh, which goes away again at about 60 it's uh, probably because it hasn't been used a great deal but um, only at sort of uh, I've only noticed it at 50 plus just a very faint whine that um, say goes away again after uh, about 30 seconds or so but yeah as I did 100, over 150 miles the other day down the motorway um, and on the fast roads and it was fantastic Very, very, very nice stag. Okay, that's probably about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk End. <laughs>